Hi, this is Aditya and here we are going to discuss about Embedded Packet Capture. So, Embedded capture, Packet Capture is a feature of Cisco IOS. We are using this feature, we can capture the packet out any interface in both directions, either ingress traffic or outgress traffic. So, suppose if you are running any emulator software like GMS, you can just right click on particular interface and then after you can able to capture the packet on that interface. So if you have a physical Cisco box or physical Cisco device, you can you cannot right click on physical links and then after you can able to capture the traffic. Somehow you have to have go through some configuration. So that is what known as embedded packet capture. So make sure your operating system going to support embedded packet capture. Uh, so this is the feature is available from 12.4 the iOS. So the configuration is a little bit, a little bit straightforward. I find that what you need to know uh, if you going to enable embedded packet capture. So in embedded packet capture, they, they, they're going to use your hardware, means CPU. So if you're running your router and you want to uh, sniff or capture the packet, your CPU is going to use of your router. Your RAM, obviously, and somewhere you want to export that, patch, uh, that packets. So whatever packets so you have captured, you want to export for analysis, you want to diagnose traffic, you want to verify the connectivity, you want to know the behavior of protocol. In such case, uh, we can use the packet capturing on particular interface. So what is the benefit of EPC or embedded packet capture? You can capture the traffic which is IPv4, IPv6 and then after you can analyze, you can figure out what it, what is going behind the scene. So let uh, let discuss a little bit more about the uh, packet capture. So in packet capture, there is three initial command we need to do. Your first command, we need to create a capture buffer. A capture buffer, buffer is a temporary, temporary memory of RAM where you want to allocate to store temporary your packets. So first we need, we need to specify the amount of memory which we are going to allocate for buffering the uh, holding the capture packets. The next thing what we need to do, we also need to specify where we want to capture the packet. So suppose if you have a router, you may have a tons of interface on which interface you like to capture the packet and then after you are going to export to the a particular machine so that you can analyze the traffic details, source, destination and whatever you want actually. The next thing what we need to do, we need to associate a capture point to the capture buffer. Since you can create multiple capture buffer, you can also create multiple capture point. So now you need to define on which buffer which kind of capture point you want to associate with. So suppose if you selected a capture interface geek 0 slash 0 and you want to put that capture data on suppose that capture buffer text. So be better to understand it will go through the configuration. So configuration is straightforward. Uh, one more thing which we, need, which we need to understand this is not going to happen on globally you need to execute command on privilege mode. So monitor, capture and then after buffer and the name of buffer where we can specify the size of buffer minimum and maximum size. If you are not going to specify there is some, uh, some default value is uh, allocated. The next step is the cap creating a capture point. So IPCEF, CEF is doesn't mean we are going to uh, the capture CEF or Cisco Express forwarding packet only. 
it means basically you are going to enable the name uh, you are going to enable a point where you want to capture the packet so this is the name of point where we want to enable packet capture your packet capture could be uh, one direction like in or out and then you need to specify the interface and finally what we need to do we need to associate them so monitor capture point and associate this is the capture point and this is the buffer area where we want to store data now we need to start the capture and once you start the capture we also need to stop the capture of after a specific time so let me go through the configuration this is my topology where i'm going to use the capture so i have a branch router and hq router these are 2901 and running ios 15.0 so this is my laptop where I am recording my video as well as I have a TFTP server. So I am going to capture traffic which is moving from, uh, from branch router to HQ router of serial interface and then after I am going to export it to my laptop where I am running TFTP server. So actually my device is up and working and let me do the practical or uh, let me go through the CLI this is my console window let me bring my console window and my terminal server um, yeah. and then this is my terminal server here yeah. excuse me hopefully this is right credentials oh. <laughs> and uh, this is actually yes there we go and the next two step is i'm going to select my branch router and hq router so this is my branch router and another is my hq router on branch router what i'm going to do selecting interface b0 slash 0 ip address create get from the dscp server and the next is my serial interface IP address 1.1.1.1, 255.255.255.252, no shutdown. Similarly, on interface, serial interface of headquarter router, 255.255.252, no shutdown. So now branch router should have connectivity to my laptop as well as headquarters. So let ping let ping to my laptop. My laptop IP address is 192.168.1.100. And there we go. We can see we do have a connectivity to the TFTP server. The next step, what we am going, what I'm going to do, check the connectivity to headquarters. As we can see, we do have a connectivity as well. So finally, I'm going to enable packet capture so this is my configuration example which i grab from the cisco so let me go through the configuration monitor and monitor capture a buffer the name of the buffer in my case i would like to keep the name is test and then after you can specify the size so let me use size which is 500. If we want to show this buffer, we can use command so monitor buffer, excuse me, so monitor, then after capture buffer in name of buffer. In my case, I am going to see the all parameters. Then we can see we have created a capture point sorry a capture buffer the name of buffer is taste and this is the memory which we have allocated so far we do not have a capture any packet so the next step what i need to do is specify the point where we want to capture the packet in my case uh, monitor packet capture buffer and then excuse me monitor packet capture then point where we want to capture the 
packet this is IP you can specify I like for IPv6 or something else in my case I am going to use IP and then after CEF whatever is performed by CEF in the name of capture point in my case cap and we also need to specify on which interface we like to capture the packet and as well as the direction in my case I am going to use both so now we created a mod capture point as well as the capture buffer the last thing what we need to do we need to associate them so monitor capture and then after monitor capture point and then point we want to associate with this is the actually capture point the capture point name was cap so this is cap and we want to put a buffer of test which we have created I think already let me verify that I think the name was test yes anything else no the next start monitor capture point in the name of the point it was sorry monitor capture point start now start all or the particular name which we have created so the capturing is ongoing and let me send some packet from headquarter to the branch so 1.1.1.1 1.1.1 these uh, traffic actually sent from headquarter to branch now this is time to stop capturing and export those capture file to my laptop where I am running where I am running TFTP server as well as a tool which is known as Wireshark in order to see the detailed protocol the protocol detail so now the next command going to be stop sorry this is need to be execute on here stop all and there we go we can also see so monitor capture and then after buffer in my case I am going to see all those buffer all those buffer and along with the parameters so we have a 10 packets that's great monitor capture buffer the name of buffer was test and then we want to export it to the TFTP server so before exporting TFTP make sure you have turned on your TFTP so let me enable my TFTP server actually let me turn on TFT excuse me TFTP which I have already installed a program and I am going to use this on interface 192.168. And I want to put those di the directory is desktop. So before sending, I think uh, we do have a connectivity actually. This is 192.168.1.100, and the name will be uh, let me see sample dot cap. So we can see it successfully sent it to me and we, we have that file. Now we can click on it. So we also have some sorts of program which allow to see those raw material, sorry, raw uh, packets capturing. So now we can see the all about, it was the ICMP packet, the source address, destination address and all those things. So this is all about this tutorial